Hello folks and welcome. Linux Mint 21.1 XFC desktop today. All right, the other day, um, I think it was yesterday actually, a user asked me a question that uh, had to do with color on your uh, clock. In other words, the text part. It is possible, uh, however, the um, you need to uh, do a lot of steps. I wouldn't say a lot, but there's, uh, in other words, it's not point and click. And, uh, and if you are uh, interested in something like that, I would highly suggest you just wiki the XFCE desktop. And there is a procedure for that. And it's, uh, I wouldn't say it's super lengthy, but it's more than just a point and click. So, but with that said, it inspired me to make another video regarding the clock itself. Um, a lot of people don't know that you can change these things and also formulate the time in a different way you're looking at it right now. So I'm going to touch a little bit about this panel bar today. So welcome folks. Now all of my videos are more than two minutes and uh, they all have chapters and timelines. I also encourage that you go and read my about section. One of the comments that I make is Linux is for every age. Also in my community tab, I have some tips for you to do uh, keyword searches on videos since my library is now over a hundred. Now I'm going to close that now that you can see this is the XFCE desktop. So let's talk about this clock thing. You can right click on it, hit properties. There's a lot of options in here, folks. I'm going to start with the bottom, which is called format and go to custom format. You probably have no idea what these symbols mean, but I'm going to put in one that uh, some folks know what this means. I'm going to put a percent Y in there. That becomes year. You can now see the panel bars displaying the year. Where do I get the uh, information regarding this? I just happen to have a web page that uh, Linux Mint 21 Cinnamon uses for a good stirftime.com. I always like the name of this um, you, uh, website, sorry. So anyways, you can hit the reference button and it'll tell you all the symbols there. And more importantly, you can also build your own. So if you want to do uh, like a Thursday, drag that over to here. You do a March, and uh, the day, date, whatever, uh, sorry, Let's click out of here for a second. And so that becomes percent A, B and whatever. And you can technically copy that and then open up your edit box, which is over here, highlight that and do a paste. Or you can just grab the box, pull it to the side, go take a look at the reference material and then formulate your time and date here. So um, here's the year that I just pointed to earlier, the percent Y. That's what I added in here. So for goodstirftime.com. All right, let's continue. So I'm going to use a standard format. And uh, did you know you can change this clock into an analog clock? You can also move this. I'll show that in a second. So you can even do silly stuff like a binary clock or even do a one that's fuzzy, half past 11. Or an LCD one, if you're like into retro. Okay. So anyways, um, I am going to change this back into analog for a second and leave it there. Now I'm gonna close that box. Now I'm gonna talk briefly about the panel bar. Now I've done other videos regarding this, but I'm just gonna talk about a couple of settings. Right click, panel preferences. So we have the row sizes. So depending on your screen resolution and the height of this bar, I'm filming in 1080 today. So I'm going to increase this and what you're going to see is these are going to kind of stack. See right here, these two applications for a good stir time is that website that I opened and simple screen recorder is what I'm currently using to record the video and panel preferences is what you're looking at. However, I did get some uh, advantage by increasing the height. Okay, so that's one option for you. You can also uh, do silly stuff like reducing. I also recommend leaving that on in case you add some stuff. It'll grow with it. Or you can use the whole size. Now I'm gonna go and skip over appearance and go to items for a second since we're talking clocks. I'm gonna drag a hold of that clock and let's say you don't want it in the corner here. Actually, mine is next to my logout button, but I'm going to move that. All you do is highlight it first. 
what would be a good idea to do right about now? Oh, I would probably want to go with a screenshot at this point. So open up your screenshot tool and since you're making changes, whether you started with the increasing of the panel bar or you're in here, my recommendation is first expand it out so you can see the whole menu, then take an active window screenshot of this box and then save it to wherever location you want to save it to. That's just a tip. You don't have to unless you've got a great memory. But anyways, I'm going to move the clock. So highlight the object that you're trying to move and start moving it. I'll even move it to the in the center. And close. And then I'll reduce this panel bar down to where it's just uh, two rows or one row. There. And close. So if you wanted that in a different location, panel preferences, item, clock, I'll move it to completely to the other side of the menu. Now it's over here next to the mint menu. There's your calendar to go with it. Now I'll move it back. So my recommendation is if you move objects around, uh, make a screenshot of this box. And normally I would probably encourage that you either do two screenshots or better yet, do it smart. Just resize the box, then do your screenshot. Now I'm going to move that clock back to roughly where I had it. So I had the launcher in front of it. That's a logout launcher and the clock. And then I'm going to close that. Hopefully you found this uh, video helpful. Take care, folks.